let's have a look at leveling off the bed. We've got to make sure that all four corners of the bed are as flat as possible. Because as you've probably seen, the laser focus distance is very short. So if one corner is slightly higher than the other, if you're cutting a large sheet of material, you'll stop cutting through in some areas and maybe have a little bit too much power in other areas. So by leveling it off, we get a really good flat bed to start with. Always good to have a good starting point. I've removed my last knife from the bed and you can see the mounting screw holes here. And there's another set at the back which line up with where the lead screw is. This is the point of the bed we want to measure. This can sit across several pieces of knife. It's relatively flat. So I'll bring the head over. I wanna get it really as close as possible to that edge as I can. And we're gonna go down. We've got plenty of clearance there, so let's bring it up. Again, don't adjust it up with a block in the way or you can really damage your mechanics. And I'm pretty much looking for this to just slip under there. So that's my front corner now tested. If I take this away, let's go back to the home corner. And there's a good two plus millimeter gap there. This is a little bit tricky because we've got to climb inside the machine. And we've got our belt tensioning idler here. So I need to undo this just by undoing these. And they're on slots, so we may be able to get enough slack from un just loosening this off. Because what I want to be able to do is basically take the belt off these pulleys. So I'm going to have to take this off completely, which is fine. All right, there we go. Pulleys are off. So now the task is we're not going to touch this front right corner because we've already determined that that's our reference point. So now I just need to drive this up a little bit. So we're gonna do a little bit of a turn and then check on top of the machine to see how we're going height-wise. Yeah, I'm gonna get the other side set correctly and then we'll come back through and check all of the corners are adjusted. All right, that's a couple of turns or not a turn of the thing, we're now Got a little bit of a gap there, so I'm gonna bring this up just a touch. And we're almost there. Yeah, I'd say that's now where I want it to be. I, it, I can feel the nozzle dragging on the wood, but it's not forcing the nozzle out of position or anything. I've set all four corners now, first pass. So now this is what I'm gonna consider my reference corner. I can slide this block of wood underneath. It's a little tight, but I've got a good feeling, so I can bring this now over to this corner. Same exact thing as previously. Check it. Feels pretty good. I, that corner's a little tighter, so I'm just gonna bring it up by just a small amount. Still a bit low back there, so I'm going to bring that one up. I'll just bring it up a tiny bit. See how that feels. And that feels good. So now our bed is level relative to the head. So back inside the machine, we now have a loose belt hanging off the pulleys and a tensioner which isn't set. So we've got to get this on without moving the lead screws. This is something you probably only need to do a couple of times a year. They really shouldn't move much once they're set. I'll get one screw into the idler. Which will help me pull on it. And again, I'm trying to do this without actually shifting this pulley. Now, I'm pulling it nice and tight. I'm gonna do it this way. Lock it down and then we get a bit of a rotation to really pull on it. Then we'll do the same for the other side, nice and easy. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the bed leveling to be of some use to you and hope that your cuts are better leveled now. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. If you've got an alternative way of doing this or some other suggestions for laser cutting, please leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.